if we can go through red traffic lights, you can imagine. So it's a breakdown of the uh, of the social contract. I also have a, another issue: violent and con violent and contested election. And here, let me take advantage of this and talk about uh, next year's election. Next, is, next year's election is as important as the 1980 election. Next year's election is as important as the 1980 election. The 1980 election had the potential of resolving and putting an end to the war, but it, it also the potential, if it had gone wrong, of sustaining the war, of sustaining the war and reversing the entire gains uh, of the peace process negotiated at Lancaster in 1979. The 2013 election is on par with the 1980 election. It has got the potential of extending the reform agenda. It has got the potential of enhancing the peace process that was codified in the Global Political Agreement of the 15th of September 2008. So it has got the potential of one step, uh, one step forward, 20 steps more forward. That is next year's election. But if we get it wrong, it has got the potential of one step forward and 20 steps uh, backwards. So we need to get it right. I was saying in the, in the forum in the morning that the world virtually gave Zimbabwe a second chance uh, after, after the 2008 debacle. Uh, the world virtually gave Zimbabwe a second chance. Foreign direct investment came in even though not at the same levels that would have wanted it. Last year's foreign investment was close to $400 million uh, compared to Zambia, $2.9 billion compared to, to, to Mozambique, where one area alone, the Tete area, got investments of $7 billion US dollars uh, from two Brazilian companies, Vale and Odebrecht, and huge billions of dollars are going to be poured in into the hydrocarbons that just discovered the oil. But it's still $400 million is still significant. Uh, overseas development assistance, a lot of that money has actually come from DFID and the British government, well in excess of for 700 million uh, US dollars. And in fact, there are some countries that are actually putting money, that have actually put money more in the inclusive government than they did when Zimbabwe still had no more relations with them. So that's again a reflection of the goodwill that uh, has been there. I don't think that goodwill will be extended uh, if we have another uh, electoral crisis uh, next year. So it's important that we get it right. How do we get it right? I think, as I said in the morning, we need the issue of reform, starting with the constitution-making process. We've agreed on this constitution. We signed onto this constitution on the 18th of July, 2012. Let's go to the referendum on it. Uh, some party is uh, purporting to be the representative of the people and saying this constitution doesn't represent the interests of the people. But the people, the people can speak for themselves. The people can speak for themselves. Uh, I spend a lot of time talking to, to the people of Zimbabwe. Each time I write a budget, I go to the countryside. 